Here we have a standard IIS log file. Let's see what happens when we open it in LogView Plus. We can see the log file format is detected automatically. When we accept the default configuration, we're also provided with a pre-built dashboard with up to eight different reports showing things like requests per minute, slow response times, and the most popular pages. If you have the LogView Plus IP address add-on installed, you'll also see a report showing visitors by country. The underlying log file data is available over here with the usual LogView Plus analysis tools. But in this video, I want to focus on dashboards because they're a great way to analyze an IIS log file. So we can see a lot of reports are included, but let me show you how to create your own report. Reports are SQL based, and I have a query here that will show destinations by distinct IP address. The next page in the wizard gives a number of options to control the visual appearance. My new report is then added to the bottom of the dashboard, but I can swap it around to change the location. Another cool feature in LogView Plus is that you can merge log files. If I open another IIS log file and merge it with the one I opened earlier, you can see the dashboard automatically updates with the merged data. Now let's filter out some data with a date filter. When I do this, notice how the reports update automatically. Dashboards in LogView Plus are dynamic. They always stay up to date with the current data you're viewing. You can see this as I navigate back and forth between different sets of log entries. This allows filters to behave like dynamic WHERE clause conditions. So that's a quick overview of how dashboards can help you analyze your logs, but LogView Plus can do so much more. Check out the features page on our website for more information.